by sailboat, which is anchored out in front of Chris Dodd's place. The reason we're doing this is because Chris Dodd has been part of the problem. You can't blame Chris alone, but he's our senator and he's here, so we're showing it to him. Um, Chris is proud of the fact that he was on the banking committee for 26 years, but during that time, things happened that got away from those guys. My wife had a real estate license in 2005. After about two weeks of trying to sell real estate, she said to me, Nelson, there's going to be a lot of foreclosures in the near future. And I said, why is that, Sharon? And she said, because you wouldn't believe who they give money to. They're giving money to anybody, and uh, they're selling these houses at inflated prices. This whole thing's going to come down. My wife had a real estate license for three weeks when she said that. Chris Dodd sat on that committee for 26 years. He was warned by John McCain and others. He did nothing. He is incompetent. He was asleep at the switch. It's time for Dodd to move away. River, shiver on the river. Gonna try to dump Dodd. Wish we could get him out in the water. Oh, hold him underwater, but uh, not sure that's gonna happen today. But we couldn't have picked a better day. The gods, the gods are shining on us. My name is Betty Mathis. And why I'm are you in Stratford? And I'm out here because I do not like the political landscape nowadays. Because it seems like everybody in Washington, and especially. Chris Dodd is looking out for themselves and not the taxpayers. And I think it's about time that the taxpayers stood up and said enough. So that's why I'm here. Hi, my name's Jim. I'm from Ivoryton, Connecticut. And I'm out here to express my feelings about the way the government's handling the current crisis. I think that the government is, especially our Congress, is taking advantage of the fear of many people, legitimate fear based on the current economic crisis to essentially uh, waste away our tax dollars, to uh, put forth any spending package that they've ever had an, an eye to implement, and to, um, to let them know that what they're doing is mortgaging our children's future. And I think it's a time that we all stand up and let them know that that uh, this out of control spending, out of control regulation, and out of control legislation has to stop, and that they really need to take a more uh, cautious approach to what they're implementing and give more thoughtful debate to what's being uh, done to address the problems that, very serious problems that our country's facing. I'm Neil Nichols from Essex, Connecticut. I'm very interested in making sure that we have a senator who represents Connecticut for the future. Chris Dodd has significantly not been able to do that for the past couple of years, 
and it's very upsetting to someone who went to school, first of all, with Chris, has watched him through uh, his 50-odd years of quote, public service, service to himself, and it's about time we have somebody who's interested in representing the people who elect him. Uh, yeah, I think they should dump uh, uh, Mr. Dodd, and also they should get rid of uh, Ted Kennedy, because he thinks he's uh, uh, indispensable. And I came down here to Connecticut River just to relax and enjoy myself. But the thing that I'd like to know is why is that gas prices are going up, factories are closing down. It's ridiculous. 